Messi, obviously, his greatest attribute is dribbling. Take dribbling away, but he can't do anything. Is this nigga serious? The football system has always been favorable towards Lionel Messi, but biased towards Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay. Is this statement true or is it false? Oh, brother. Please make sure you watch the whole video so that you know from the thread we're gonna be looking at. And obviously, we know Cristiano just lost the car final. He scored in the game, but obviously his team decided to let him down as usual. If you watch the game, you know. This is the thread. The system was designed to be favorable towards Messi and biased towards Cristiano Ronaldo. Is it facts? Please watch the video, the whole video, so that you can know the points to argue. Please, don't argue with people in the comment section if you do not understand everything. Watch the whole thing. Let's go. So this thread will be divided into separate sections showcasing how Messi has, be, has been getting favored over the course of time, video evidence, articles, and texts. So we are dealing with everything. Videos, articles, and texts. I beg you pay attention. Before I start, I want to say I respect both. So please, don't take anything into heart and don't come attacking me. It's just text. It's just YouTube, bro. It's just a YouTube video. Don't attack me. Don't say i don't have, i have zero ball knowledge no bruh judge everything objectively Hi, right, number one so outside of being favored we need to talk about how one always gets easier career path and the other one gets difficult but obviously the one that gets difficult is easily cristiano and the one that gets it easy gets it easy is Lionel messi obviously messi is talented but it's no big brainer for one to realize that messi playing in an elite barcelona squad made way for him to be who he is today this is what i was saying messi is smart messi is very smart especially when it comes to football like you if you are around people say you are a sum of the people you hang around show me your friend and i'll tell you who you are who you are you know what i'm saying so being around these top players as a smart person you're gonna learn from them and messi is smart that's why he learned from them you know what i'm saying cristiano had to create this monster by himself because there were no examples around him at sporting you know what i'm saying so that's why this comes into play you know what i'm saying so um just look at the squad ronaldinho you the likes of who I can't actually name these people, but I know they were great, you know what I'm saying? I think this is Iniesta. I can't actually name these people, we all. I can't, I, I did not pay attention to Barcelona back then, I'm gonna be honest. Next, Lionel Messi's biggest injury in his career, where he was out for three weeks, came against his first encounter with the Premier League club, and I think it was Chelsea. It was Chelsea, if I'm not wrong, I'm not sure. But yeah, that was his biggest injury, his longest injury, three weeks. But I think he's injured, but he was injured during the off-season, so I don't know. First time coming against an English Premier league tied but the brother was injured for three weeks you know what i'm saying now imagine cristiano playing week in week out with these guys you know what i'm saying now imagine someone who had to play at the highest peak of premier league competition at the highest peak this is one the premier league was the premier league you know what i'm saying crazy man this was ronaldo that same 2005 2006 season let's see we're gonna watch like 10 seconds of this i don't want to get blocked look at cristiano bro look at cristiano Look at Cristiano, bro. Look at Cristiano. Uh, fake shot. Uh, 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 another fake shot. That's a goal. Okay. You have to shoot that. You have to shoot that, Cristiano. Yep. You have to score that. How did Rooney miss that? Look at Cristiano, bro. And this is against the black one. They were trying to take him out. Uh, that's a good pass. Oof. I'm not gonna lie, I say 10 seconds, we are like 51 seconds in. <laughs> yeah, how a diggy Ronaldo highlights are. Next, the guy who assisted Ronaldo's first goal versus the guy who assisted Messi's goal. So it's obvious that Messi always had an easier system and it was never easy for Cristiano Ronaldo. And if you look at Cristiano's first goal, it was actually like a dribble, like a long ass dribble. Whereas like for Messi, it was just a loop across and he scored. So I don't know, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to say Messi can't dribble, but because you know Messi can dribble. But what I'm trying to say is they had to, they had different circumstances when it came to working for that first goal you know what i'm saying next messi's first injury coming against chelsea proved that if their career was switched up was switched up then Lionel messi wouldn't survive the intensity of the premier league and he wouldn't even be in the good base but for cristiano it's never a problem this is what i'm gonna say about this messi obviously his greatest attribute is dribbling take dribbling away but he can't do anything is this nigga serious let's be honest he can't be a number nine probably maybe he would be a midfielder but bruh with all the physicality in the premier league no chance 
let's be honest no chance he would have been bro they would have taken his legs you know what i'm saying messi i don't think he would have survived bro. number of league titles won Lionel messi 12 cristiano ronaldo 7 number of league titles won as the top scorer Lionel messi 6 which is 50 percent and cristiano ronaldo 100 percent so obviously we can see that Lionel messi has been being carried you know what i'm saying but what, what i'll say is even when messi was not top scorer sometimes he was top assist you know what i'm saying so you have to balance despite messi having an early advantage cristiano still won the first ballon d'or and went on to equal the ballon d'or records until fifa and their organizations had to start rigging it by the organizations he means Cornwall ball and them and there you know what i'm saying i still don't understand how cristiano won five ballon d'ors i'm gonna be honest i think when he won them it was undoubtedly he was undoubtedly the best you know what i'm saying anytime there was a bit of like uh, somebody else deserved it they immediately give it to the other person you know what i'm saying but for messi even when somebody else deserved it deserves it they still give it to Messi. that's why we say it's free um during the days in la liga ronaldo was smashing ballon d'or awards left and right and messi couldn't even smell one it's pretty obvious ronaldo leaving madrid made way for messi in the goat debate and not because of how good messi is cristiano said he didn't feel value as much at real madrid so he had to leave he asked to leave and when he joined juventus he wanted to prove he's better he was so so good at Juventus, bro. So good. But they didn't win. They, win this, they won the Serie A, but they didn't win the Champions League, which is very, very important for the Ballon d'Or. Next, 2011 semi finals against Madrid. They'll tell you Messi. They'll tell you how Messi had a great UCL performance, but they won't tell you that the performance, that the performance, the two goals from Messi came from after Madrid was down to 10 men and the entire back line was all booked. Oh books booked i think um is this pepe pepe was playing as a midfielder this bro this was when Mourinho was smoking something bro pepe was a midfielder and um albion was the center back crazy and then mark obviously scored two goals wonder i'm not gonna lie they're not gonna say this and i see i see clips of that messy performance every one of the biggest robberies in football let's see where the robbery is other than deliberate Oh, God, it's as simple as that. That's all the game. So Messi, no, Pepe has been fouled. Ew, that's boot straight to the shin. That should be a red card, man. Di Maria. What's gonna happen? PK. Reclaimed by Pepe. If the stats are facing up, then it's so hard to defend your buyer. Former FIFA president calling Messi the good boy and purposely mocking Ronaldo on live TV. I remember this. Of course, the GOAT responded in a goated way. Let's say this. Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo? Lionel Messi okay. is a good boy uh, that every, every father, every mother would like to have it at home. And uh, he, he's, he's a kind man. He's really... Really good. But what does that have to do with the football though? He's a kind man. What does that have to do with footballing ability? You know what I'm saying? Like I know you like him because he's a good boy. But come. Boy. And the other one. Huh? The other one. This is the, the other one. The other one is. Uh, is uh, he is. Uh, he's like. Uh, the other one. Field of play. <laughs> Two days later. So he didn't even have the audacity to say Cristiano Ronaldo. The other one is like a commander of the field. Really? This is what we're doing? Let's see Cristiano's response. Respect? They don't respect you? Ooh, they're just fouling him everywhere, bruh. They just look at the fouls, bruh. Cristiano with the pen. Scores the pen. That's the salute, you know what I'm saying? I'm the commander of the field of play. Come on. <laughs> now that was a goated response, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty obvious Messi gets these awards because he's seen by the media as the good boy and not necessarily because of his football ability. That's what I'm saying, bruh. That's what I'm saying. It's like an interview. If you go to a job interview in dreadlocks and someone goes shaved like me, the one shaved like me is gonna get gonna get the job. You know what I'm saying? You with dreadlocks, you're gonna be told go home. But this is not to say that Cristiano is not a good person. He's a good person. But he's competitive when it comes to the pitch. Next, another proof. Host of the 2011 Play of the Year award tells Ronaldo some journalists vote for Messi over him because they like Messi's image more. He's that calm boy, that chill boy that doesn't do too much you know what i'm saying like he's everybody's boy you know what i'm saying i, I spoke with some with, with some journalists who, okay. who voted for the last award where i was presenting uh, in monaco the european footballer of the year okay and some of them 
may have voted for Messi because they like He's... Messi more than they like you. Not the football, but they the like. Image. Do you think sometimes you're a victim of that? I don't want to cry about that. <laughs> I, I spoke with some. That's a good to respond to. I don't want to cry about it. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, the Ballon d'Or lost credibility, bro. When you have half half the football fans, not even half, like three quarters of the football fans questioning, there's something wrong with you, man. He was on the verge of making the greatest comeback of all time, from being four one down in the Ballon d'Or bait to being six five. From four one down is crazy. Sadly, the organization had to step up just to rob him again and bring some false allegations against him. Yeah, they tried to pin um the rape allegations on him. I'm happy. I'm happy that everybody sees it now. You know what I'm saying? Um, Platney, when he was UEFA president on the 2014 Ballon d'Or, Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't deserve the Ballon d'Or. Why would you even say that, bro? I'd prefer it should go to a World Cup winner. He wasn't good for Portugal. Him three-peating the UCL and going on to win the UEFA Euros was actually a miracle. It was actually a miracle, bro. Doesn't deserve Platini. I'm not gonna lie, I'm never watching your highlights. I'm never watching your highlights, you know what I'm saying? Blatter claims Messi naturally gets more votes on Ballon d'Ors because he's seen as the nice guy. I do not even get. Is this the same clip? And and that's why they make him so popular and uh, uh, naturally it's he not. Will be, always get a lot of votes because he is this nice man and he plays well and scores goals. And the first thing he said because he is this nice man and then he added and he plays well and he's going like you know bro, i actually hate this i actually hate this i'm not gonna lie i hate it because that's 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 the definition of being biased because you like someone you vote for them. valdez trips ronaldo on purpose the ref seen him but says nothing robbed of an actual of a crucial game winning penalty again i think i remember this one Calihon. Let's see, let's see that, let's see that trip. He like puts his hand, his hand up, his right hand up. And the ref is just running like he saw nothing. And he saw it, I'm sure he saw it, bro. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Keeper didn't catch it. He falls. You see that? You can see that. Certainly movement from Valdez to glance across the leg of that's foul bro that's foul look at that look at that look at that deliberate deliberately bro next Cristiano Ronaldo getting a red card for merely touching someone's head in a UCL game cries after cause of the unfair decision that starts always against him I remember this one bro because he pushed someone's head while he was on the floor gets a red card like what the fuck red card yes yes and the ref was like, what? This is crazy, bro. How is that warranted a red card? How? That is never a red card, bro. That is never a red card. That is just agenda, bro. That is just, that is, that's, that's straight up agenda. Next, some of the most absurd comments on Cristiano Ronaldo from ESPN. I'm not gonna lie, they might as well change their name to ESMN. Messi. Because, bro, ESPN writes Messi's dick like crazy. I'm not gonna lie. They hate him in the open even without hiding. Let's see these pictures. It's actually crazy how much they hate Cristiano. It's actually crazy. Should Cristiano Ronaldo retire after this season? Why are you asking that? It's not even your job to do that. You know what I'm saying? Focus on yourself. The, uh, the, the other. Uh, will Messi overtake Ronaldo? Ronaldo has the record international scorer. No, he will not. You know what I'm saying? He will not. Um, Ronaldo could score a hat trick every game and no one will care. Why would you even say that? Why would you even say that? And that's a comment by Craig Ball thinking he is the man because you're a pund. You have a football opinion. Like, shut the fuck up. Cristiano Ronaldo was awful versus Bayern Munich despite his goals. Man, what? The nigga scored a hat trick. Shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's a hat trick of his two goals, but he did score a game. I remember Cristiano Ronaldo's goal scoring, goal record creating an even bigger pro. Wait, what? Cristiano Ronaldo's goal record creating an even 
and bigger problem what does that even mean you know what i'm saying the things you're doing good are making things bad so what the fuck are you supposed to do <laughs> i can't understand these people bro. next the ballon d'Or ceremony showing ronaldo in an underwear in front of everyone after he called them out for tarnishing his name for pr points ronaldo said it is unacceptable that the person responsible for awarding such a prestigious prize could lie in this way in absolute disrespect for someone who has always respected france football and the ballon d'Or. this was at the ballon d'Or. why why would they why would they display this picture bro you have pictures of cristiano on the pitch you have pictures of cristiano in a suit you have pictures of cristiano on a holiday in the press conferences and everything but you chose this particular picture of him with drogba even drogba even drogba asked why crazy man this isn't a threat to underestimate messi's greatness but i'm pointing out how everything has been made against ronald it's just facts bro spectra you don't need to apologize to anybody because it's it's not messi's fault it's fifa's fault um if you enjoyed the thread drop me a follow please subscribe and in the video please make sure you leave a like and subscribe i'm waiting to see your comments what do you think about the thread do you think it was biased do you think it was fair do you think fifa favors messi or do you think um ronaldo fans we are just crying because i can assure you we are not you know we are we are very content you know what i'm saying yeah. if you enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe watch this or i'm gonna haunt you i'll see you in my next video i'm out